Hello everyone, Lillian Smallhorn here, your Beck and Field tree lover, and I'm going to be auditioning for Becca Beckin scene two. My father used the last of his breath so the story wouldn't die with him. I held his hand as the color drained from his cheeks. But he told me to listen. He said it would be all right to cry later, to mourn him later, but to listen now. He insisted that I memorize his words. I didn't understand them at the time. How could I? It was far too much for my 12 year old ears. The story he told was unlike any of the fairy tales I've heard before. It still seems impossible, but his cornfield held the key. Then, he told me to reach into his jacket pocket. It contained a strange book. At first, the language made no sense, but as the years have gone by, the words have slowly made themselves more known to me. I added pages to the back so I could pretend it's my own personal diary and take it wherever I go.